<laughs> there you go. <laughs> We are now in Kigali. Now let's do what we do best. I can't ever stop emphasizing how clean Kigali is and how they maintain it. They do not joke about it. I believe there's a traffic police just waiting there. For anyone to breach, you breach the regulation, you're gonna get punished. And they're well equipped, like seriously well equipped. They do not take bribe here, just so you know, guys. No bribing in Rwanda. That's remarkable. Look at the roads, how clean they are again. No litter anywhere. And it's not just here, I'm telling you guys, it's everywhere. It's not just here. So don't get it wrong, it's not just here. They always have pedestrian walk by the side. structure here see how they build they build really really good just to standard like a lot of houses in Nigeria like I said are not straight they're not properly built you look at these ones they're really good it's the same thing throughout this city so far development bank of Rwanda the people here number one they dress well like you see less poor people it's a poor country of course, a poor country, but it's not as poor. They dress well. They, they, they've managed to fix their roads. Look, you don't see litter, like there's no litter, nowhere. The streets are clean, are paved, road markings everywhere. Like you can see all the roads. People keep to, to the lane. They don't just like drive like in Nigeria where they just switch lanes left and right. And people wear shoes when they go outside most of the time. Also, the country is safe. I can literally do this all day, anywhere. Nothing is gonna happen. Rwanda is safe. Kigali is a really safe place. Of course, I've seen some beggars like in Nigeria, but very few, one or two. And I've seen their market area and I've seen a bit of roughness as well. Bear in mind, it's a small country just coming out a really hard time. And the president has tried so much to bring up this country. And what is achieved so far, it's amazing. I'm going to continue, I'll show you that like you see the infrastructure is really good like the, for a country that went through such difficulty, the infrastructure is really not bad. So I'll be back again to show you some more. Sunday today. So I chose a Sunday to do this so we will be able to move around quickly and easily. That's the convention center. I mean, you should know that everyone should know things about Rwanda. It's a popular place here. Good. Zebra crossing, you wait. They cross. Go. Can you ever see this in Lagos? It's just not possible in Lagos or anywhere in Nigeria. They don't even know what it means in the first place. <laughs> University of Kigali. You see how decent that is. Yes. 
again, the clean street everywhere in Kigali is clean. No winter. What's that? Swap station. I'm not sure what that is. It says swap station. Not really sure what they do there. Oh, you can charge. Is it a swap or what? What is it? I'm not sure. I'm I'm gonna find out some of the time. I think maybe it's a charge. Like if your your model, your vehicle is a charging maybe station. Yeah, I think so. I saw a electric charging point yesterday. I was quite impressed. I mean, you wouldn't have it in Nigeria because we don't have. Steady power supply, so we, we, we sometimes then we get them six hours a day. Sometimes, so yeah. I mean, some places in Nigeria, I'm not joking, they, they, they haven't seen power supply in decades. It's not a joke, it's true. So, we're still in the market area, so we're trying to leave this area. I'm just going to take a break here and then start back when we've left this area. So, uh, because, so you can see, I told you about Yego. Those are the Yego caps. No Uber, Yego. That's it. Like Yego caps. So we're just going to walk on the street a bit and just look a bit how they're planning now. Uh, look at some of the infrastructure and how clean Kigali is. This is one thing that will strike anyone here. It's just the way all the streets are marked. You see some of the infrastructure how neat they are. Just look at the infrastructure. It's such a decent country. It's not just that the this infrastructure are decent, it's just that the place is so safe that you can walk alone by yourself even at 2 a.m. with $10,000 in your hand and nothing's gonna happen. It's amazing what they've done here for a country that started with almost nothing. Like, it's amazing. This is a residential street Look at the marking. And not just that, the motorists, they drive amazingly. They keep to the rule. So Rwanda is very disciplined. It's not like most other African countries. It is very disciplined. You break the law here, you will get punished. But what else do you expect in Africa, a country that's safe? that safety is guaranteed. I mean, it's amazing. A black country. Now, why I decide to shoot this around 6 to 6.30 when it started getting dark here? Yeah, because I just wanted viewers to see how life here is, how when it gets dark, how quiet, serene. Okay, I am in a... It's quite an okay neighborhood, like so this in one, but it's not like the most posh of all. I'm going to stop the camera so you see, you can Google that yourself. That's the street where we are now. KN 41 Street, KN 6th Avenue. So I'm on 6th Avenue. That's where we are. Rwanda is really clean. These are the Yego taxis. They don't have Uber here or Bolt, Taxify. Look at the road. Just how clean, quiet pristine, the streets are. How did they do this? Where is Nigeria? How do you compare this with Nigeria? And I'm, just, I'm not just saying it's just here. It is all over the place. Not just here. I mean, it's not just here. So I'm going to cross now and try this other street. Now, um, I've swapped to KN41 Street. Instead, I was on that one, KN 6th Avenue. And as you see this, that's how everywhere is marked here. So it's not just um, that I'm picking some street and just want to show you and, and pretend that Rwanda is amazing. No, that's how it all is everywhere. It's amazing. Obviously, if you go to the suburb, then you find like lower incomes. It's obvious that the area is not going to be as beautiful, but it is marked the street street markings the streets are tarred flowers clean the same look no litter look at that 
you cannot find littering anywhere. If you're caught littering here, you are in serious trouble. Serious trouble. The discipline you see in Rwanda is some of the, some of the discipline you find in China. Now, don't come here and talk to me about democracy because democracy is not working in Nigeria. It is taking Nigeria backward. Democracy is not a tradition, our way of life. You can't import a system that's not very common to us and force us to adhere to them when we don't even understand the basic of democracy. Rwanda has prospered, albeit undemocratic, because I wouldn't call the Kagame a democrat, let's be honest. He isn't. But look at what he's done here. He's changed his country. His people no longer go overseas trying to seek asylum, trying to smuggle themselves into Europe through the Mediterranean or claiming to, to change your name to sound American, sound British or sound whatever. I speak like this because I spent the last 24 years of my life in the UK. Obviously, I inherited the British way of talking. That's why I sound this way. I don't put on an accent. This is how I sound. This is how I speak naturally. Unfortunately, that's what it is. But again, let's continue. This is Kigali. So I'm going to make a right. We are on KN51 and KN41. So we're going to make a right. And let's see some more of Kigali. Look at the pavement, look at everywhere, no litter. People don't litter here. People don't litter here. It is amazing. Just amazing. So, we're still in Kigali. I had to drive out from the city area because I wanted to cover other parts of Kigali as well. So we're just going to walk here. Yeah? You can see we are away from the city. The city is far away there, all across that area so we're out of the city and i'm going to cross and show you a different side of kigali so let's do it this area literally reminds me of my childhood this is the re africa i want to see they are they're, they are enjoying my camera <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely a lovely country they don't pretend to be tourist hi how are you good my name ik yes my name ik pleasure thank you they they're so kind like the kids they they don't i don't know there's something about rwanda it's just so lovely like you can't have but love this place. These people are lovely people. This place is safe. Now, let me swap the camera. If this is like in Lagos, I mean, you see people harassing me and stuff, but you don't do that here. So let me just swap the camera. So you see what I mean? Look at that. It's like the proper Africa that you hear about. Like they, you go to local market here and it, it's safe in terms of security wise this place is safe it doesn't matter where you are it's very safe very peaceful people so unlike nigeria people here don't come harass you and ask you for money all, all kinds of stuff they're just curious about what i'm doing they just want to ask me questions but they can't speak english that's the thing about rwanda you know but anyway let's just have a brief look at this and those are the hills all around kigali the city of 1000 hills so there we go you can see some of the names are still in french the french influence you see that says ken kayeri which is like building material so the older generations still speak french whilst the younger ones have moved on from french Hello. <laughs> there you go <laughs> so yeah it's a the people friend, they all want to talk to me. They want to hang out. They want to see what I'm doing. I could even go into the market side and even further, but yeah, it's okay. I don't want to go to I just want to show you a few. 
other side of Rwanda, because most people come to Kigali, we know that Kigali is clean. That's true. No one is disputing that. But there's still poverty. But that poverty is managed. It's so well managed. Like even here, it's just as clean as everywhere else. No part is abandoned. Nowhere in Kigali is abandoned. It's the poor people who manage poverty. And I wouldn't even say that poverty is extreme. But yeah, you know, Rwanda is not yet a developed rich country. That we can all agree. But what they've done with the little resources they've got is just impressive. To say the least. So, let's swap again. I'm just happy seeing black people who are proud to stay in their country, who are proud of their language, who don't want to run to Europe or America, who wants to make their life here in their country, at home in Africa. That, for me, is amazing. Also, they have a president who cares about the people, you know? So, with a good president and a good leadership, you can always change everything. I'm just going to, it's like, you know, local market. I think this looks like Coco Yams, I believe. Coco Yams, maybe. And they're all trying to shop. What is that? I can't read it. They're right in their Kin Rwanda language. And hey. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So up the hill and one thing about here look at the queue they keep to the queue it's not like nigeria very very peaceful people they don't they don't just you know jump around they speak so low they're not allowed people they're very humble you i mean one thing you'd appreciate about kigali is how humble the people are they're very humble see i can walk here alone all by myself and this like the lower class of the city. I walk all by myself with all my stuff, my iPhone 15, my stuff. Nobody, they, they don't care. They're so peaceful. You can see all of that. That this, this city is made up of hills. Everywhere. Hills. 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 And they have development going on. And that side, on the other side there of that hill, Rwanda is building the largest airport in East Africa. The largest. Even bigger than Nairobi. So, let's go back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to walk back to the car. And I really wanted to come out of Kigali to cover this area. Because I don't want to just stay in the rich area. And everyone just feel like, oh, Rwanda is made. It's just all these clean, sparkling roads. And, you know, rich, rich. No, it's not. But still, the country is progressing. They are becoming, slowly becoming self-sufficient. Don't forget, Rwanda does not produce oil or have massive reserve of resources. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see how they are? They they don't mind. They just they just they're good people. Just simple people. They're very lovely people. Like you can't complain. Here, um, Rwanda has impressed me so much. Like it has shown me how much Nigeria has failed. Like how much we failed. We failed miserably. Like today, Bantu Page team went out in Lagos to do what I'm doing here exactly. And they were harassed. Oh, well, stop recording. They were always record this one. They were, they were literally harassed. And they had to stop. I mean, come on. <laughs> but look at me in a, in a foreign country. You know? Like in a foreign land, they're doing all of this stuff. And the people are even enjoying just seeing me. They don't mind. Amazing, man. So, what I was about to say, imagine, just imagine for a moment, that Nigeria's oil was found in Rwanda. Imagine where Rwanda would have been today. Rwanda would have been developed. Dubai would have been second best to Rwanda. A country with almost no resources, nothing, came back from 
um, a genocide through one of their teeth. That's impressive. That's all I can say. So guys, if you don't follow us, please, do so. We are Bantu Page. That's our main channel. We also own sister channels like City Diaries and Bantu X-Rays and all, all the different channels. The Bantu Page is us. We are going to do this in South Africa, Namibia, and Botswana. So stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Kigali at night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Africa's cleanest city. Probably cleanest country as well. You, um, Rwanda beat so many developed countries. Yes, so many developed countries. I believe I've read that somewhere, but I don't want to be say that with all certainty, but I know that's the case. I, I think I've heard something like that. So the bus in front of us, I'm not sure if it's at the public transport or but it's like literally into the server, into the street. I want to see where it's going to stop. Hopefully, it will make for good recording. Again, we're going up the hill. It's a struggle. There are lots of hill here. Uh, the bus is leaving us. It's turning there, and we're going that way. Oh no, we, we're going the same way. That's good. That's good. I'd like to see where that bus goes. Oh, we're going to overtake it. Oh no. Okay. It's not empty. I'm sure it's a. It looks more like a coach than a public transport. 